Books from Tennessee. When we run, 
and wary. Why do we run this race of life? We run the Christian race to gain eternal life. However, to do so, we must stay in the race by following the path Christ set before us. Psalms 119, verse 32 states, I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt launch my heart. The major requirement of winning the race is simply finishing. We will encounter many tests, trials, and challenges, but in James chapter 1, verse 12, it tells us, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, but when he's been approved or tried, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. It's imperative that we not only stay in the race, but also be strong in the end of your courage and in our weariness, because the Lord is with us wherever we go. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. We may become tired, but if our hope is in the Lord, he will renew our strength and give us what we need to finish the race. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. When are we to run this race? We run this race the duration of our time in life. Paul tells us that we're to work out our own soul salvation and fear and truth. The term work out means to continually strive to bring something to fulfillment or completion. It refers to our responsibility for active pursuit of obedience to God in the process of sanctification through our respect for Him. In knowing God's truth, we are set free from the bonds of sin. John chapter 8, verse 32. And we are able to run a race of life with confidence. Mm. Finally, where do we run? Our race is on this time side of life. We are in the world, but not to be of the world. Therefore, we go into all the world, according to Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20, and preach the gospel to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In order to do this, we must know well the doctrine of Christ. And we are, we are commanded to share the gospel of Christ with others until we finish the race. Everyone to receive the prize of the high calling, which is eternal life. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18, give us explicit instructions on how to be strong in the Lord and His might. So we may win a battle against Satan. We are instructed to, to put on the full armor of God so we can take our stand against the devil's king. And when the day of evil comes, and having everything to stand for it, we can remain firm in truth, righteousness, readiness, faith, salvation, and the word of God. Remaining alert and always, always ready for all of the saints. And this, the victory will be ours. Thank you. <laughs>